Hi everyone. So I'm going to do a general reading. This is the energy that is coming towards everyone during this super pink full moon in Libra. So Libra is all about balance. Um, so this full moon that's starting tonight for many of you. I mean, the full moon energy is already here, basically. So, um, let's see, because this full moon is going to um, bring releases and revelations like all full moons do. I feel like a lot of you have already seen um, true colors again with certain people, and I feel like some of you have cut people off again. Um, so with that being said, let's see, this is going to be for everyone. This is not just for, you know, twin flames or anything. This is for everyone. So if the messages are resonating, then this is your collective. If it's not, click off, not your collective. If you want a personal reading, hit me up. So let's get right into this. What do you need to know about this super pink? Wow, so a new beginning is coming uh first light beginning a new cycle so this has to do with spring energy this has to do with the cycle of life okay so under this season you know new energy is coming even though it doesn't seem like that every season changes okay every season and something happened during the last new moon cycle so a lot of you have been manifesting um, a lot of these manifestings are coming to light, okay? So whatever you are wanting to do, this is like a new dawn of age, really, um, blooming with the whole coronavirus and everything changing. I mean, everybody's life is um, all over the place. Like what you thought was for sure is not for sure. I mean, this whole situation is pushing people to see things. Um, what I said, first light, a lot of people have gotten revealed again. So you really, under this energy, the past couple of weeks, I want to say, you've been seeing people for who they are. You've been seeing selfish people. You've been seeing um, sweet people. Like you've been seeing who's there for you, who's not there for you, you know, who really cares. So this abundance. There is coming um, this uncovering treasure with the dragon guarding the treasure. There's this abundance coming. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. So under this darkness, you know, that everyone's been going through, there is new energy coming for everybody. So just hang strong because your hard work and your efforts and situations I feel like under this full moon energy, many of you are going to reap those rewards and many of you are going to be getting surprises, okay? Wow. So you think that things are not moving the way you want in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. So like I said, you know, you're entering this new cycle of life. You're going to be getting these rewards, okay? You're going, your hard work is going to be paying off. And people, certain people in your life, I feel, are appreciating you that weren't appreciating you in the past. So I feel like under this full moon cycle, certain people might be coming from the past. I feel like for the past couple of days, a lot of people have been coming from the past and contacting and, you know, trying to talk to you. Now, I would not go back to the past unless the person changed, unless they brought something to your life. Do not go back to energy vampires, all right? 
So everything is smooth sailing from here. So know that things are changing, you know, happy Passover, happy Easter um, for people that are celebrating, but there is changes coming, okay? Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. So be appreciative. You know, a lot of people, they complain about their job or they complain about their situation or not having this. How about you? really take this time to see what you do have you know appreciate your job if you have a job because a lot of people don't have a job right now okay so this is all about when you're appreciative through gratitude joy expands when you're appreciative god blesses you okay when you're not appreciative you know your blessings don't open because it's like the universe is saying you don't even appreciate what you have so under this full moon energy really release the negative thoughts release the negativity okay so let's get some moonology cards and you could find these cards this is the sacred travel cards you could find these cards in my amazon list which is listed below Wow, look at the bigger picture. So that has to do with gratitude, you know. Really appreciate, okay, full moon and Sagittarius. So know that things are moving. Know that things are changing. And, you know, there's a lot of passion coming. Even though you don't feel it, there are changes coming in in your life. And, and look. So you have treasure, and at the bottom of the deck, you have prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. So there is a lot of abundance coming. So this Libra full moon, um, this super pink moon, is bringing in the harvest from a long winter. Okay, this is spring energy. We're in spring now. So the bad is going to fade away. You are going to get through this um, whole situation that everyone's dealing with. And you are going to reap your reward. So there's a lot of happiness, you know, health-wise. And those of you that are healthy, I mean, you should be thankful because a lot of people are dying, especially in New York. You know, it's really dangerous in Los Angeles, Italy, New York. You know, major cities. It's very, very dangerous. And appreciate where you live. You know, that's something you could appreciate because it could be worse. So stay home and really um, don't complain about things because at least you're alive, at least you're breathing. And there is abundance coming for you. So let's what is the romance energy under this full moon well libra is all about balance so a lot of communication is going to be happening a lot of reconciliations is going to be happening for those of you interested in romance those of you that haven't heard from your romantic partner during this time i feel like the person you're dealing with is under a lot of stress not to make excuses they're really overwhelmed and they're releasing that X energy that they were in. Um, healing. A lot of healing is going on. So let's see. What is coming towards everyone under this super pink moon? People are looking at you like you're very attractive, okay? People are very drawn to you. Um, I feel like even how you smell is something that turns people on. And I feel like some of you that were dealing with somebody is really thinking about how you always smell good and how you always look good and how you always um, 
is, are pretty, people are looking at your pictures if you're on social media and they're admiring your beauty. So under this full moon, I mean, you have to social distance and everything, but people are still attracting, you know, love. You're still attracting this romantic energy into your life and your resilience makes you more attractive so under this full moon like i said look at that getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so that has to do with a romantic connection um that you have that this has to do with somebody you already know so some of you like i said you're gonna get this communication um, and you're going to really open up yourselves, open up your heart, and open up that line of communication and those conversations that have been needing to be had. And uh, many of you are dealing with somebody you have a deep bond with. This is a magnetic attraction. So no matter what happens, no matter what you do forever, um, this person is attracted to you. So I feel like in the past, this person tried to run away from you. Um, but they were not successful in doing so. So let's look more into this. With some traditional tarot. So this is a general reading. If you want a personal, my information is below. All messages aren't going to resonate because there's thousands of you. And this is only for certain collectives. My reading is timeless as well. So if you come to this channel a month from now, the message could still be for you. Yeah, like I said, in the past, this person was sneaky. This person was lying to you with the Seven of Swords here. And look at this, justice, which is ruled by Libra. So this full moon in Libra is all about balance. So it's funny, this comes out. A lot of air energy here. This person lied to you in the past. Now they want to have this conversation and they want to talk about what they did to you, okay? Because they're coming to reveal their feelings. They're coming to express their heart. Like I said, that's that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. That's emotional. I feel like a lot of masculine energy, a lot of um, feminine energy, a lot of you are going to be in your emotions. You both are going to be in your emotions um, this full moon in Libra because it's like pushing you into your emotions and pushing you into like thinking about the past and what happened and you know all kinds of situations that happened and try not to dwell let it go okay because dwelling and thinking about yesterday doesn't help you we have today tomorrow's not promised so live in the present so this person is going to want to finally admit to those feelings. In the past, this person you were dealing with, like I said, probably told you that they didn't like you, they didn't care about you, they didn't want to be with you. Now, justice is coming, and that justice has to do with conversation and balancing things out and hearing what you've been waiting okay to hear for a very long time so i hope you enjoyed this reading and stay well bye